Ask Reddit by Philip M. Young. What industry do you hope won't exist in 10 years? The fuckers that make college textbooks $2,000. IDK if this falls I to the right category, but everything needing wifi. I bought a scale the other day that needed wifi before it could read my weight. I have a PS5 with all the media apps I need, give me the option for a dumb TV. My washer, dryer, fridge and oven also shouldn't need wifi to be able to do basic operations. Samsung as a company is driving me up the fucking wall lately. Walmart sells dumb 4K TVs. Mine was like $140 for 60 or so inches. Everything is a subscription. As a tech worker I understand why this is so popular but god do I hate it. Edit. Some subscriptions can genuinely offer amazing value to consumers. My problem is the mass adoption of subscription on products and services that have no business being a subscription. Those that exist solely so companies can make more money off of you. Not everything should be a subscription. Right? I fucking despise it. Even something silly as a bad coloring app wants a $8.99 monthly subscription. That's Disney Plus with ads MS. Scam call centers. They'll be replaced by Ali scam call centers. Third party student loan consultants. I used to work as a federal student loan collector for a department of education contractor. I have horror stories about borrowers who were purposefully deceived by these people, the worst of whom was someone who thought a consolidation she paid for completely eliminated her obligation. What these legally grey assholes do is trick people into paying to have free paperwork done on their behalf. Sure they have the tiny fine print disclosures, but they are extremely predatory and make me sick. Immo getting rid of them could be legislation worthy, given that they interfere with federally owned debts. Child modeling and anything to do with children being publicized on social media. MLM's pyramid schemes. The amount of FB posts I see that are like join my book exchange. Send 6 books, get 36 back, variations include wine bottles, kids toys, etc. Tells me pyramid schemes are not going anywhere, because people are not smart enough to realize these are literally the definition of a pyramid scheme. Pharmacy benefit managers, PBMs. Look them up. They are basically blood-sucking middlemen that sit between hospitals and health insurers. Supposedly created to control prescription drug costs and manage formularies, but they actually drive prices up. One of the many terrible causes of high medical costs in the states. It's not the PBMs alone that drive up the price, it's the combination of every single company in the supply chain. PBMs are often easily blamed by the other companies to hide their own drug price inflation because it's easy to blame a negotiator and call them a middleman. Don't get me wrong, I agree with you PBMs are terrible too, but wouldn't it just be better if medical insurance went away, or even better, eliminating the industry of corporate lobbying that prevents the government from going after the medical industry? Telemarketers I think it's funny that we already have telemarketing robots calling call screening robots. Personally I just use Tasker to auto drop any call from a number that isn't in my contacts. The concept ticket mafia, ticket master stub hub live nation. Fuck them. Eater, I know those entities aren't really an entire industry. They basically have the market monopolized, though. No shit. A few years ago I wanted to get Garth Brooks tickets. The venue had this system set up to keep scalpers at Ticketmasters from grabbing a bunch of tickets. I logged into the website at the exact time the website said and had to keep hitting refresh for a fucking hour and a half. By the time I could get in there was one ticket left. One. Then guess who started advertising tickets? Yup. Fucking Ticketmasters. Fuck em. Puppy kitten farms. This and even pet stores that actually sell animals from these mills. My home state of Maryland is the second behind California in banning pet stores from selling animals from puppy kitten mills. 
the troubled teen industry. Look up next this video on Elon School and you'll see what I mean. Abusing minors for money shouldn't be an industry. Edit, didn't realize this would get so much traction. So if you're interested in helping advocate against TTI, head over to our troubled teens and join our little crew. As a former student, prisoner, I could not second this enough. The facility I was sent to got shut down a number of years ago but there are still many other thriving programs. Some of the girls who also went there are now working on a documentary to shed some light on how counterproductive and downright criminal these places are. 24-hour propaganda media outlets masquerading as news. TLC masquerading as the learning channel. Payday loans. Just an endless cycle of debt. For-profit prisons. Private prisons are an abomination. Us tax prep. Unnecessary middleman with artificially maintained necessity due to lobbying bribery. Edit, I understand that many people have a reason to use professional tax services. In fact, I'm one of them, surprise. Most people don't need this, though. There should be a better alternative for the average taxpayer, especially considering how confusing and fluid the government's system is. As a tax preparer I partly agree. There is absolutely no reason for an individual who works a job and receives wage income needs to file a tax return in the computer age. Employers should be able to withhold the correct amount and everything is done. It would save the IRS paper and man hours and a lot of people a lot of frustration. It is done by plenty of other countries. People with rental income, self-employment income, and similar would still need to file a return. Oncology I think even oncologists would agree and we would happily retrain them in any other field of their choosing. Call scammers that steal from the elderly. Anything involving cold calling, or massive phone call farms pimping random. Shit. Edit, I did not expect 17k upvotes. Had a tie. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Fast fashion. What's fast fashion? For profit health insurance. Child beauty pageants are they still going? That. Not even Frank's little beauties. Human trafficking. Looks back at history. Should I tell them? Everything to do with planned obsolescence. Massive industry, disproportionately responsible for obscene levels of environmental damage. Child porn. No matter the place it feels weird to upvote a comment that says child porn. Sex trafficking industry and just the trafficking industry in general unfortunately trafficking has been around for thousands of years and will most likely not be gone in the next 10 years. Sewage cleaning. In many third world countries people have to climb into sewer to clean them without any proper protection. I hope the technology becomes cheaper soon. More here, e. Social media influencing. I think it's going to get much worse before it gets any better. For profit healthcare. For profit tax filing companies. For profit prisons. Money in politics. Lobbying. You mean corruption? Mega churches. The thing is people like them. I go to a very small church like we might have 25 people every Sunday. I've seen numerous churches start up and flourish and get hundreds of people every service, and wondered how they can start from zero and zoom past us so fast. Every time. The things people say they like is that this new church is huge, bombastic, has rock music and yelling and lights and flashy everything. People say they want coffee house, but show up to the Taylor Swift concert. Car dealerships. Give me my damn direct to consumer sales. Death to the sleazy middlemen. 
telemarketing. Those damn ads in my mailbox that take up all the room that I immediately throw away. Slave trade. Beauty pageants and mayo. Especially child beauty pageants. Ticket master. The trio of exploitative industries that specifically prey on human suffering. Privatized prisons. Privatized healthcare. Privatized utilities. And also the amount of fees it takes to be poor in this country, from banks to payday loans. Drug cartels. MLMs. That's if you can even call them businesses in the first place. Influencers. I've always kinda hoped society as whole would take a step back eventually and opt to not be connected to everything 24 stroke 7. Payday loans. It should be illegal to entrap someone in a cycle of debt that they cannot get out of. If you already can't afford to wait for a paycheck, then having to make payments against it is inherently going to be a cyclical arrangement, in which a loan is paid off and then immediately retaken to cover expenses. Sure, there could be one-off instances, but that seems like it would be a rarity.